In this video, I will show how to import bilingual Word documents into MemoQ version 5. Here, I have a short Word document translated in WordFast Classic that I want to import in MemoQ. The Import Update Bilingual option would seem to be the correct one. After all, I do have a bilingual document. So I select that option. The All Supported Bilingual Formats drop-down menu does include Trados Compatible Bilingual Doc as one of the supported formats. So far, so good. So I select my document and click Open. MemoQ starts the importing process and... Bummer! Tells me it does not recognize this file as Trados Compatible Bilingual RTF, although the file definitely is a Trados Compatible Bilingual document. Misleading information, Kilgray! I have a look at the help system and I'm being told I can use the add document as comment in order to import bilingual doc slash rtf files. I therefore click on add document as, I select my bilingual document and I click on open. I accept the default importing options and I click on ok. This time my document was imported successfully so I select open for translation in order to have a look at it. Bummer again. MemoQ imported only the target language texts and put them in the source language column. I found out there's a trick. You need to tell MemoQ explicitly what kind of document you're trying to add. So I select Add Document As once again. And this time I select Bilingual Doc slash RTF from the All Supported Files drop down menu. Once again, I accept the default importing options. My document was imported successfully, and when I open it for translation, it looks like this. Both source and target texts were imported, and they ended up in the correct columns. I'll now try the Add Document command. I select my document, and I click on Open without specifying the file type explicitly. I open the imported document for translation, and it looks fine. The source and target texts are indeed in the correct places. So what did we learn from these experiments? First of all, you should not use the import bilingual comment, although MemoQ claims you can. Secondly, if you use the add document as comment, you have to specify the file type explicitly in order for the importing to produce the expected results. Finally, you can use the add document command without specifying the file type, and your bilingual document will import just fine. So for most purposes, add document is the most convenient way to import bilingual word documents in MemoQ. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you found my video useful, and do subscribe to my channel for more similar videos.